Community Link, presented by Financial Center First Credit Union and 106.7 WTLC. Thank you for joining us this week, Community Link. I'm Marco Domingue. And I'm Caroline Mays Medley. The Indiana Historical Society has been Indiana's storyteller since the early 1800s. To tell us more is Jody Blankenship, CEO of the Indiana Historical Society. Welcome, Jody. We're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. So we do history. Yep. That's the <laughs> motto of IH, IHS. Yep. Tell us how you tell the stories of Indiana. Well, we do it in a number of ways, but one of the best ways that we do that is through our exhibits. So we have a couple of different kinds. Our most popular are called the You Are There exhibits. And what we do is take a photograph or a letter document in our collection and give visitors a chance to walk into it. So we recreate the environment meticulously and we have actors portraying real people who lived in that time or in that place so that visitors can be in the space and talk to the people who are actually there. That's neat. Yeah, and we have other exhibits as well. One's called Dis Destination Indiana, and that allows visitors to take virtual journeys by topics or locations or themes all across the state using the documents in our collection. We have an incredible collection, millions of items going back to well before Indiana was a state up until the present. Absolutely. And so everything we do is based on that. Yes. Besides the exhibits that you guys have, uh, what else the Indiana yeah. Historical Society does? So we have a lot of things. The heart of the Historical Society is our collection. So millions of items, documents, photographs, artwork that document the experience of Indiana and Hoosiers throughout time. So we have an archive and library. Anybody can come for free. Come and look up your, your genealogy, a topic in history, mm -hmm. anything you want. On top of that, we have a full calendar of programs. So we are constantly doing things on a variety of topics of Indiana history. And we have some great conferences. So we just wrapped up our Midwestern Roots, which is a regional genealogy conference that we run. And it is fantastic. We partner with historical societies all over the Midwest. Um, and we also run a great program called National History Day in Indiana. Mm -hmm. So this is a contest where students all over the state in elementary, middle, and high school create a uh, paper, website, performance, uh, you name it, a project about a topic in history and they compete at elementary or at a school level, regional level, and then a state level to um, just sort of iterate on that project and make it better and then they compete against their peers and we award them prizes. This year we just sent 60 students to Washington DC to compete oh, and we oh, were awarded right. 10 prizes. So that's we're very excited. That's awesome. It's good that you're getting young people involved. And mm -hmm. so getting all people involved <laughs> in history, we're grateful for that. Yeah. And you have a great exhibit coming up about Madam C.J. Walker, obviously a, a great entrepreneur mm -hmm. in Indiana. Tell us about that exhibit. Mm -hmm. When is it coming? And what do you hope people take away? Yep. So it is opening in September. It's, we're going to have a VIP opening on September 19th. It'll be open to the public on September 20th. And we're really excited about this story because everybody knows and idolizes Madam C.J. Walker. Mm -hmm. And it is such an incredible story. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, taken a, a scene a photograph in our collection because we have a lot of Madam C.J. Walker's materials in our collection. And in fact, we were just awarded a grant from uh, the Mellon Foundation to digitize it and put it all online. So you wow. can go on our website and see all that material. But we have a photograph of her office that we are recreating and you'll be able to walk into that exhibit in 1915 in Indiana, in Indianapolis, go into her office, you can talk to, with Madam C.J. Walker, with Freeman Ransom, her attorney, with Alelia Walker, her daughter, with um, Violet Reynolds, her secretary, uh, with uh, uh, several of the uh, saleswomen that she had employed with her. And you get a sense of what Madam C.J. Walker was, what she did. And really, she was an incredible woman yes. who broke through racial and gender constraints of her time to mm -hmm. create a wildly successful business. But more than that, she used her wealth and her position to help others. Yes. And it, it's an incredible story about someone who used their own talents and brilliance to build an incredible company, but then give back to the community and empower other people to do the same. Absolutely. So that you is get to great. See. That yes. is great. Thank yeah, you awesome. so much, Jody. Thank you thank for you. all that you're doing at IHS. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having thank me. You, thank you, Jody. And thank you for joining us today. This was your weekly community link. To share this segment or learn more about the Indiana Historical Society, head to wishtv.com. Take care.